It's noon, and that means it's time for gentle yoga. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm so glad you're joining me, and Luna's so glad too. She keeps wondering who I'm talking to from my living room. Who's coming over? Nobody, it's just us. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being here. And as always, thank you so much to my friends and my students who are able to support my small business, Bliss Evolution. Um, if you're looking to support my small business, you can do that at paypal.me slash bliss evolution or cash.app slash bliss evolution. And I thank you so much for your support. And as always, with our gentle yoga classes, with our gentle Hatha yoga classes and, and every class that I teach. This is all about doing something that feels good. It's a nice break in the middle of the day and it's something to help you if you feel better rather than worse. So we don't want to exacerbate injury. We don't want to cause injury. So we want to be very careful to listen to our bodies all throughout our practice together. So if you notice that something's not feeling right or something's hurting a little bit, then tweak it a little bit until you feel good. And if a pose just doesn't work for your body, that's okay too. You can try something else. So let's get started. We're gonna start in Savasana. So this is also known as corpse-like pose. So we'll lie down on our mats, on our backs, facing the ceiling or the sky. And we'll just lie comfortably, relaxing, with our feet falling out to either side at about a foot and a half to two feet between the heels, with our palms facing up and our arms about a 45 degree angle from the body. And if it feels good for you to close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes and just relax here, feeling the breath, feeling the inhales and the exhales, feeling the gentle rise and fall of the chest, feeling the muscles begin to relax, feeling the body untangle, open, and prepare to receive some positivity. And as we begin to breathe, we'll bring our focus to the breath. When we inhale, we'll fill up our lungs from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top. The stomach expands as it relaxes. As we exhale, we'll exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle, all the way to the bottom. We're relaxing the diaphragm, allowing the stomach to expand and fall back down towards the ground as we inhale and exhale. And we notice the body relax, unwind, and begin to release some of that tension that we're carrying. Sometimes we carry tension in our muscles Sometimes we carry tension in our organs. Sometimes we carry tension in our mind. So just try to release that tension wherever you might be carrying it, even if it's just for this hour together. We'll inhale and fill the lungs up from the bottom all the way to the top and we'll em exhale and empty the lungs from the top all the way to the bottom 
Inhale, fill the lungs up from the bottom to the middle, to the top. Exhale, empty the lungs from the top to the middle, to the bottom. Inhale, fill up the lungs. If you notice any areas that are still tense, Go ahead and send the breath to those areas. Let them melt and relax under that life energy that you're sending. And as you exhale, exhale the tension out and away from your body. Watch it float out the window and float away. And then bring your focus and attention back to the breath, back to the gentle inhales and exhales. If you'd like to create an intention for our yoga practice today, or if you'd like to think of something that you're grateful for, take a few moments and bring your focus to that. On your next inhale, raise your arms up to the ceiling, wiggle the fingers, rotate the wrists, and then reverse, rotate the wrists in the opposite direction. Clasp opposite elbows, draw the elbows back towards the ears. Now if you stop here, that's fine. If you're feeling some sort of stretch, that's okay. If you want to keep going and draw the elbows all the way down to the ground, you can. If you're stopping here, go ahead and open up until you can draw the elbows down to the ground. So maybe you're making a big circle like this, or maybe you're clasping opposite elbows like this. Whatever you're doing, go ahead and draw the elbows back to the ground. Shimmy the shoulder blades together. Raise the chest. Lift it up. Arch through the spine, inhale and exhale here. Big deep breaths, arching and lifting the chest, drawing the shoulder blades back and down the spine, drawing the elbows down to the ground. Release that stretch. And just relax here. Rock the head from side to side, from left to right. And come back to center, clasp opposite elbows or make a larger circle. Draw the elbows down to the ground, squeeze the shoulder blades closer together, arch through the spine, lift the chest. Even shimmy those shoulder blades together underneath the body, lifting the chest just a little bit higher and remembering to breathe, inhaling. And exhaling, lifting the chest just a little bit more. And releasing the shoulders, releasing the elbows and letting the arms just relax on the ground. We're going to bend the knees. Draw them into the chest. Clasp opposite elbows. Bring the forehead into the knees. Tuck it in. Send love all over the body. And then drop the head to the mat, drop the soles of the feet to the mat, lifting the left foot, we're going to cross the left over the right. And if it's accessible to you, if it feels good, bend the knees, bring them towards the body. If you need to back out at any time, you can back out, back out, or even back all the way out. But if it feels good, you can tuck the knees into the body, inhaling and exhaling here, relaxing, Feeling the back open up, feeling the muscles relax, and then dropping the right foot to the mat. We're going to slide the left knee out to the left hand side. You can hold it here. Or if this is easy and you want to feel a little bit more, bend the knees. You can hold underneath the knee or on top of the knee, pulling the knee closer to the body. Inhale and exhale here.
Release the right foot to the mat, the left foot to the mat. Switching sides, we're going to cross the right knee over the left knee. Bend the knees, bring them closer to the body. If you need to back out at any time, listen to your body. Go ahead and back out. Otherwise, bend both knees in. Feel the lower back release as you inhale and exhale. And as you breathe, continue breathing. We're going to drop the left foot to the mat. Slide the right knee out to the right hand side. You can leave it right here. Or you can reach through and around the left knee, pulling it just a little bit closer into the body. Inhale and exhale here. Relaxing the body into the stretch. And if you need to back out, you can drop the left foot back down to the mat. Otherwise, just take a few deep breaths here, holding the knee into the body. Drop the left foot down. Drop the right foot down. We're going to slide both feet out once again. Stretch both arms overhead. We'll stretch them up and flex the feet. Inhale and exhale here, getting a big stretch to the whole body. If you'd like, you can go ahead and lift the hips. And if that's too much for you, you can leave the hips dropped onto the mat. We'll drop the hips down, bend the knees into the chest, gently rock from side to side. Bringing the feet to the mat one more time, we're going to slide them down and slide the arms overhead once again. Let's start with the right side, stretching the right side. We're going to flex the right foot. Stretch the right hand up, stretch, stretch, stretch. We're feeling that nice big stretch all along the right side of the body. We're feeling that stretch through the armpit, the rib cage, and the waist. We're feeling the right side open. And then we'll release that stretch will stretch the left side, flex the left foot, stretch the left hand up, feel the left side of the body open up through the armpit, the rib cage and the waist, feeling the left side of the body expand. We'll come back to center, clasp hands, walk the hands up towards the elbows, stopping whenever is necessary. We're leaving the arms and the elbows down on the ground behind us. We're going to stretch up as we flex the heels, stretch the heels down. If you'd like to lift the hips, lift the hips. Inhale and exhale here. Stretch all the way up, bend the knees, reach for the knees, bring them into the body. With one hand on each knee, we're going to make big circles with the knees, going first in one direction. And then reverse, big circles going in the other direction. And then either roll over on to one side and push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Grab a chair if you'd like, or bring the hands underneath the knees and gently rock forwards and backwards, massaging the spine. And sitting up, nice. So come to a comfortable seated position. For me, that is a cross-legged position. And sitting up straight and tall, we'll inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale down. Inhale, sweep up, and exhale down. One more inhale, sweeping up. And exhale, sweep the arms down. Nice. Inhaling, we're going to roll the shoulders forward and up to the ears. 
exhale roll back and down the spine inhale roll the shoulders forward and up exhale roll back and down one more inhale and exhale rolling the shoulders back and down the spine reversing the motion we'll inhale roll the shoulders back and up to the ears exhale roll forward and down inhale back and up exhale forward and down one more inhale and exhale good still gently stretching the body gently waking the body being gentle with ourselves all throughout our practice today let's drop one ear to one shoulder and as you drop that ear try to reach your chin sort of diagonally up in the opposite direction so we're just gently dropping the ear gently reaching the chin up and it's more of like imagining that we're reaching the chin up than actually we're definitely not pulling it we're not using any force to do it i just want you to imagine that ear getting a little bit closer to the shoulder and the chin going kind of diagonally in the opposite direction as we're inhaling and exhaling here We'll rock the head back to center and from side to side just look and turn from side to side and then we'll face back to center again drop the ear to the opposite shoulder just be gentle with the neck here very very gentle with the neck we're dropping the ear towards the shoulder and as we do so we're imagining our chin going up at a diagonal and the reason that I want you to imagine that is because I don't want you to drop the ear to the shoulder with the chin forward I want you to just tilt the head to the side inhale and exhale here dropping the chin to the shoulder relaxing and then release the head back to center turn the head from side to side Come back to center we'll drop the chin all the way down let the chin rest on the chest we'll let the forehead hang forward and let the back of the neck open up inhale and exhale here imagine all those muscles in the back of your neck releasing relaxing letting go of any tension they may be holding on to and just relax gently rock the head from side to side and then lift the head back to center turning the head to one side we're going to line up the chin with the shoulder just turn and look out over that shoulder inhaling and exhaling keeping that chin lifted keeping the shoulders back and down not falling into the curve in the spine but keeping that abdomen and all the muscles around the core from front to back engaged to hold the body upright now we'll drop the chin to the chest we're continuing to have that alignment throughout the back but we're dropping the chin to the chest here and then we'll drop the chin crossing the chest inhale and exhale look out over the opposite shoulder so we're keeping that nice straight line throughout the spine we're not curving into the lower back we're not curving back like this and sitting back on the tailbone we're sitting straight and tall up on the sits bones looking out over the shoulder as we inhale and exhale we're, we're keeping that chin lifted 
and we're breathing. Drop the chin down to the shoulder. And from here, just relax the neck. We're gonna feel that stretch in the side of the neck on the opposite side. It's a little bit of a deeper stretch. So if you need to gently lift the chin and come out of it just a little bit, do that, do what feels good for your body. We're using all of our core mus muscles to hold us upright. We're gonna drop the chin now all the way down the midline of the body. Just drop the chin to the chest. Let the forehead hang heavy. Gently rock the head from side to side. Bringing the fingers to the back of the neck, we're just going to press gently on either side of the spine. We're not pressing directly on the spine. We're pressing on the muscles on either side of the spine around the neck. And we're taking deep breaths as we do this. Bring the arms parallel to the ground. Interlace the fingertips. Push the knuckles away from you as you continue to drop the chin down. Now we're feeling a nice big stretch across the shoulder blades and across the shoulders. We're stretching the knuckles away as the palms face in. And maybe we'll gently rock from side to side if that feels good, opening up the shoulders just a little bit more. And then we'll drop the hands and lift the head. Nice job. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and stack one leg on top of the other leg. So you've got two options here. You can either bring one leg directly in front of you, so the foot and the knee in a line with each other, and then the other leg stacked directly on top, so the foot on the knee, the knee on the foot, or you can stack the knees directly on top of each other. So choose which one feels good for you. They're different stretches, so I think it's always a good idea if you usually do one, try the other one sometimes. So stack those knees and those feet. Whichever knee is on top, that same side hand is gonna go behind the back. Whichever um, knee is on the bottom, that opposite hand is gonna reach up. We're gonna bend the elbows and reach behind the back. Now you can just go ahead and reach the fingers towards each other, but if you have a towel or something nearby, you can put that towel between your hands and hold on to it from either side. If you happen to be able to touch your fingertips together, you can hook your fingers and hold them behind the back. And if you just wanna leave the hands stretching for each other, that's fine too. You don't want this arm to get in the way of the head. You don't want this arm holding the head forward. So you wanna be able to open the arm out to the side rather than it just being behind the back. So if you're really tight in the shoulders, don't try to force the fingers together. Inhale, look up at the top elbow. And as you exhale, we're gonna look down at the bottom elbow. Inhale, look up at the top elbow. Exhale, look down at the bottom elbow. Inhale, look up at the top elbow. And exhale down at the bottom elbow. Nice. Release the arms. Shake them out. Release the legs. And we're going to switch sides. So again, two options. Do the same kind of stretch that you were doing on the opposite side. So if you want your knee and your foot stacked on top of each other, you can do that, big hip opener. If you wanna stack the knees directly on top of each other with the feet next to the hips, 
do that. So choose the thing that feels like your body needs it the most today. And then whichever knee is on top, that hand goes behind the back. The other hand, we inhale and reach up. As we exhale, we bend both elbows. We're reaching towards opposite fingers behind the back. We don't have to touch those fingers. If we do, we can hook them. If we want to grab a towel or something like that and pull from either side, we can. Or we can just reach those hands towards each other. Even if one is just between the shoulder blades and the other hand is just behind the waist, that's fine. Listen to your own body and do what feels good for you. As we inhale, we're gonna look up at the top elbow. And exhale, look down at the bottom elbow. Inhale, look up at the top elbow. Exhale, look down at the bottom elbow. Inhale. And exhale down. Release the arms, shake them out. We're going to come back to our comfortable cross leg position. From here, we're going to place one hand in front of the body and one hand behind the body. I'm going to turn to the side so you can get a good view of this. So one hand in front, one hand behind. And we're going to turn from the waist and then the shoulders and look towards the side. If the neck feels good, we're going to keep turning with the head, looking behind as far as we can. And when we can't turn with the body, we'll look with the eyes as far as we can to the opposite side. So we're creating a spinal twist from the waist up. Inhale and exhale here. And gently walk the hands back to center. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side, bringing the other hand in front. The hand that was once in front will now go behind and we'll twist and turn to the side, looking First to the side, and then, if it feels good, looking to the back, and looking with the eyes as far as we can to the opposite side, twisting from the waist up. Breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Release that stretch, come back to center. We're gonna do that one more time on each side and you can do the exact same thing. Or if you want a little bit more of a twist, bring your right hand above the knee, outside the leg, and bring the left hand back where it was behind you. And use that leverage with that hand to turn from the waist, the chest, the neck, the head and then look with the eyes all the way behind you. Inhale and exhale here. Release that stretch. Come back to center. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So either one hand in front, one hand behind, or if you want a little bit more, you're going to bring the hand outside of the leg just above the knee. The other hand goes behind the back. We're twisting first from the waist, then the chest, the neck and head and turn and look as far as you can in the opposite direction. Release that twist and come back to center. Let's find our way to a hand and knee posture. So we'll come to a hand and knee posture on the mat. 
So this means that the shoulders are directly above the wrists. So we're going to adjust them so that the wrists aren't forward of the shoulders and the shoulders aren't forward of the wrists. We want that direct stacking. And if you have elbows that overextend like my do, mine do, my elbows just want to face forward, then just turn them in so that your elbow is facing out to the side and the front of your elbows are facing each other. So rather than facing them forward, turn them and be conscious about it. The knees are underneath the hips, top of the feet are on the floor, and here we are in a tabletop posture. We're going to turn the fingers towards each other. Lift the right hand, thread the needle, slide it between the arm and the leg on the left side. Slide it all the way down the floor until the shoulder and the ear come to the floor. Lift the left hand up. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can just place the left hand on top of the right hand or bring it back in front of the face with a bent elbow. Otherwise, lift that left hand up and gently push into the right shoulder to stack the shoulders on top of each other. Inhale, exhale. You're doing great. Drop that hand, lift back up. Find that hand and knee posture again with the shoulders under, or sorry, above the wrists and the hips above the knees. Turn the fingers towards each other. Same thing, opposite side. I'm gonna turn around so you can keep seeing me. Lifting the left hand, we're gonna slide that hand along the floor, bringing the elbow and the ear closer to the floor. You can hold it here, certainly. Or you can place one hand on top of the other. Or you can push into that left shoulder and gently lift the right hand up. If it feels good for you to look up past that thumb, turn the head, look up past the thumb. We're pushing with the left shoulder as well as lifting with the right hand. Bring that hand back down and come back to your hand and knee posture. Inhaling, we're gonna drop the belly down, look up. Exhaling, we're going to curve through the mid back, lifting it up, bring the shoulders and hips closer together. Inhale, cow posture, look up. Exhale, cat posture, look down, gaze past the belly button, inhale, cow posture, look up, exhale, cat posture, lift that mid back up. Walk the hands in towards the body, we're going to come up onto our knees, bringing the hands behind the back. Now our knees are about hip width apart. So they're not directly next to each other. We want a nice stable base here. Knees are hip width apart. We're gonna bring our hands to our lower back for camel posture. We're going to arch through the spine, drawing the shoulders back. We're pushing the hips forward. So shoulders are coming back, hips are moving forward. And if it feels good to drop the head back, you can go ahead and drop the head all the way back. Continue pushing those hips forward as you draw the shoulders back. And then pushing into the lower back, straighten the body as you come back up. Very good. We're gonna do that one more time. So rotate the wrists in both directions. Bring the hands to the lower back. We're gonna start by drawing the shoulders together and gently leaning back and then pushing the hips 
forward. So we're counterbalancing, drawing the body back by moving the hips forward. Draw the head back if it feels good. If it's too much for you, you can continue looking forward. Listen to your body. Push those hips forward. And if you want to reach for the ankles, if this is easy and you want to reach one hand down and the other hand up and switch, you can. Or you can reach both hands down towards the heels or the ankles. If you have back issues, you want to just gently keep the hands right where they are. We're going to come back up out of camel and come back to our hand and knee posture. Sit back on the feet. Bring the forehead to the mat. Bring the palms face up next to the feet. Inhale and exhale here. Just relax. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to lift the body and come to a standing position. So go ahead and join me here in standing. Wow, the lighting really changes when I'm on the floor and when I'm standing. I hope you've been able to see me. And from standing, we're going to do a tree. So we can do a modified tree, which is leaving one foot on the ground and leaving the other toes on the ground or we can lift the other foot. So I want you to listen to your body and do what feels good for you. A lot of people, myself included, find that stepping off the mat gives them a firmer base when it comes to poses like this. So I encourage you to give it a try on the mat, give it a try off the mat, see what you like best. We're gonna bring our focus and attention into one foot. I'm gonna bring my focus and attention to my right foot. I'm gonna lift the toes, wiggle them around, spread them out, drop them down, lift the heel, drop it down. I've got a, now a firm base on that right hand side. I'm gently moving the weight from the left to the right. As I do so, I bend my left knee. So I'm going from here, I have that nice firm base. I'm leaning gently, bending my knee. And as I shift my weight, my left leg just feels a little bit lighter. Maybe it floats up off the ground. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm keeping my toes on the ground today. Putting this foot on the right leg is important. You can leave that heel on that ankle right here. You can bring the foot to the calf, never directly over the knee. You don't want that kind of pressure on the knee. The foot can be up high on the thigh or in half lotus position and that crease between the body and the leg. So do what feels good for you. Find the right place for this foot for today. And for me, it's gonna be down here. And we're turning that knee out to the side. So we don't want that knee at a diagonal, at a 45 degree angle. We're trying to move from the hip to turn the knee out as far as we can. Ah, but if it hurts, we're gonna move it back in. So do what feels good but I don't want you to twist your other knee, so just be gentle with yourself. From here, we'll bring hands to prayer position. We'll lift the chest, engage the abdomen. Inhale, reach up, and separate the hands. We're reaching up, maybe we're bringing the arms into a wide V. Inhale and exhale here. And then we'll let our fingers, our leaves, our arms, our branches float down to the ground. We'll come back to prayer position and release. Drop the foot. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bringing the focus and attention into the left foot, lifting the toes wiggling them, stretching them out, dropping them down on the mat. I also gently lift my heel. My weight has started shifting to the left. I've got that firm base on the left hand side. So as my weight shifts, I can turn the knee to the right hand side. I can put that heel on that ankle, the foot on the calf, up on the thigh or up high on the thigh, 
in the crease of where the body meets the leg. So choose the place that feels right for you for today. And try to turn that knee out at a 90 degree angle as best you can. When you're here, bring the hands to prayer position at the heart. Inhale, reach up. Separate the hands. Inhale and exhale here. Maybe draw those arms out into a V. You'll notice that each shift challenges you to stay balanced. And then we'll drop our leaves, our branches, our hands, our arms down and come back to prayer position at the heart. Very nice. We'll drop the hands and release the feet. Let's do one more balancing pose since we're here. So coming into balance on the right foot, lifting those toes, dropping them down. I'm going to step off the mat this time so you can see. Maybe you'll step off the mat with me. Spread those toes, drop them down. We're going to shift the weight towards the right as we do so. Our left knee decides that it's light as a feather. It wants to float up. We're going to clasp around that knee. We're doing our best not to dip forward or curve through the spine. We're trying to keep the chest lifted, the shoulders back and down as we lift the knee up. But remember, everybody's body is different, so we're doing what feels good for you. We want to keep a slight bend in that standing leg. We don't want to lock or overextend that leg. Bring the right hand to the right hip. And you can drop this foot anytime you want, but if you want a little bit more, pull it out to the side. Inhale and exhale here. Bring it back to center. And drop that foot down. Nice job. All right. Let's try it on the other side. So bringing the focus and the weight into the left foot now. Lifting up the toes of the left foot, dropping them down, lifting up the heels, relaxing. So now we're focusing on the left hand side, shifting the weight to the left. The right knee just starts to float up. Clasp outside that knee. We're trying to keep length in the spine. We're not hunching forward. We're not bending forward. We're keeping a little bit of a bend in the standing leg. Bring the left hand to the hip. And you can hold it here. But if you feel like moving, if this feels good, bring the right knee and turn it towards the right hand side. Inhale and exhale. You're doing a great job today. Lots of balancing. We'll come back to center. And drop that foot down. Nice job. Good, good, good. All right. From here, we'll inhale, sweep both arms up, turn the pinkies towards each other, thumbs turn away. We're going to squeeze the knees together, shimmy the feet together as we sit back in a chair position. We're keeping that chest lifted. Inhale and exhale here. And come all the way up. Drop the hands down on your next exhale. We'll do that one more time. Inhaling, sweep the arms up. Oops. Turn the pinkies in, thumbs face out. We're going to drop down as if we're sitting in a chair. We're reaching, lifting the chest, turning the pinkies, inhaling and exhaling, and then come all the way up. Big inhale, exhale, arms come down to the sides. Nice job. All right, let's find our way back to a seat on the mat. For some forward bending. 
stretching the legs out in front of us. I like to pull the flesh of my sits bones back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, leading with the chest and chin, then curving through the spine, dropping the hands wherever they land, knees, shins, ankles, feet, wherever they land. Relaxing the body into a forward fold. We're imagining a dotted line between the forehead and the shins. We're not curving from the upper back. We're pulling from the forehead towards the shins and we're allowing the lower back to open up and relax and that's allowing us to fall just a little bit deeper into this stretch. The crown of the head is reaching forward past the soles of the feet and then we'll walk the hands back up to the body. Bending one foot, we're going to bring that foot up high on the thigh, the other foot. Those toes keep pointing up so there might be a tendency to fall to the side. Point those toes up. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lead with the chest and chin. Fold forward over that leg and the space that the other leg would be if it were stretched out in front of you. Now we're going to shift the body, centering the body over the outstretched leg. You'll notice that the stretch changes entirely. Shift the body the other direction. Shift back towards the leg. And then shift the body back to center. Nice. We're going to walk the hands up. And switch legs. Bending the opposite foot, we're bringing that foot up high on the thigh. The other toes, we're making sure they're pointing up. Inhale, sweep both arms up, and exhale, lead with the chest and chin. Fold forward over the leg, drop the hands to the foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee, wherever they are. And remember, we're centering the body as if it were between both outstretched legs. Now let's shift the body over the outstretched leg. Shift back to center. Shift over the outstretched leg. And breathe. And shift back to center. Walk the hands back up towards the body. Bend both feet, or not feet, don't bend your feet. Bend your knees. Bring your feet in close to the body. We're sitting up straight and tall, holding onto the feet or the floor. Big inhale here as we exhale. We're just gently leaning forward. Maybe we're only coming here, that's fine. Maybe we're coming a little farther, that's fine. Listen to your body and listen to your body today. What we do today may be different from what we did yesterday. And remember, we're not pulling with the shoulders, trying to bend forward. We're lengthening through the lower back. Walk the hands in, sit back up. We're going to stretch both feet out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, lead with the chest and chin. Folding forward, centering the body over both legs. Inhale and exhale here. Reaching the crown of the head forward. Noticing maybe you've come just a little bit deeper into this stretch. Maybe not. Maybe you're listening to your body and you're coming shallower into this stretch on purpose. Walk the hands up the legs. And we're going to find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. So bring the body to a comfortable seated position. We're going to draw the shoulders down the spine. We want a nice, long, straight spine reaching up with the crown of the head. We want the shoulders relaxed back and down. We're just going to ground ourselves 
today to the earth. So we'll make the okay sign with our hands. Place that circle on our knees. If you'd like to join me in closing your eyes, close your eyes along with me. We're grounding down into the reality of this very moment. And we're realizing that in this singular moment in time, everything is okay. We're inhaling and exhaling. We're breathing and feeling the lungs expand as they fill with air. And the body relax as we exhale. And here in this present moment, we're assessing how we feel. Maybe we feel at peace. Maybe we feel relaxed. Maybe we feel happy. Maybe there's some worry, anxiety, or fear in the back of our minds for something that's to come or may or may not happen. But we're stepping away from those future projections that our minds are inventing and coming back to this very moment, this moment right here. And knowing that in this moment, we're safe. And in this moment, everything is okay. And as we breathe and as we inhale and as we exhale, take a few moments to bring your thoughts back to your intention for our yoga practice today back to that thing for which you are very grateful. Whatever your choice was, bring your thoughts to land on that thing. Whether it's a concept, a feeling, a person, a desire, let your thoughts land on that thing. And then let the outcome, if there is a desired outcome, let that go. We may not be able to control that outcome, but we're still okay in this present moment. And we're still grateful. From this place of peace, I invite you to either continue sitting or to find your way back into Savasana, back into our corpse-like pose. And if you'd like to sit because you're so comfortable, just stay there. And if you'd like to find your way to Savasana, lie back on your back. Your arms are finding their way to a 45 degree angle from the body. Palms are facing up. You're pressing the lower back into the mat and then releasing. Feet are falling out to either side. There's about a foot and a half to two feet between the heels. Big inhale wherever you are sitting or lying down. And as you exhale, Release anything that's no longer serving you. Inhale. We've created some space for love and light to enter the body today. And as we exhale, 
we're making more space by releasing the things maybe once that served us, but no longer have a place for us to carry. We're letting them go to create new space for new things, new feelings, and definitely for love and for light. Inhale, fill up the lungs from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top. Exhale, empty the lungs from the top to the middle, all the way to the bottom. Inhale, fill up the lungs from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top. And exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle of the lungs, all the way to the bottom. Take a few more deep breaths like this. And with each inhale, Continue to invite love and light into your life. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your awareness back to this space, whether you're sitting or lying down. Take any final stretches your body might need. And if you're lying down, roll over onto one side and push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And we'll end our yoga practice all together. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale down. Inhale, sweep up and exhale. Release anything that's not serving you. Let it float away. One more big inhale, gathering up all the love and the light surrounding us. Bringing the palms together and pulling that into the body. Bringing the hands in front of the forehead. May we think positive thoughts in front of the lips. May we speak kind words and in front of our hearts. May we spread love and joy wherever we go. Namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope that you feel lighter and more lifted in spirits, maybe letting go of some things that you don't need anymore. And I thank you for coming. It's a beautiful afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you to those of you who are able to support my small business. And if you'd like to know how to do that, you can go to paypal.me slash bliss evolution or cash.app slash bliss evolution. These videos will be on YouTube, so find me there. You can do this class again if you liked it, and I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.